That's right. When we leave the trash on the ground, the animals will come and eat it because they think it's food and animals are always hungry. So they will eat it. But when the cow, the cow eats it and the bird, they will die because the food is not good for them. Now, why, why people burn the garbage here in India? Any idea? You see like people put plastic bottles and garbage and they burn it and you see people going like this, they want to get warm. That happens a lot in India. The bad side of doing that, that when you burn plastic, it pollutes the air that we breathe. Breathing air that is not clean, and we can get really sick from this to us. So, you just use this. You ate this, you just used that product for you. So you need to figure out a way to get rid of this. What would you do? We see we see trash cans sometimes, but still people put their trash on the ground. So, if, so we need to make we need to make it a cool thing. We need to make it cool to put our trash in the trash can. And so how we do that is we talk about it and we make songs about it. We start thinking about it as a good thing rather than a bad thing. So when I make music with my mouth. I'm talking about things that I want to happen. No, I want to keep it clean, keep it clean. So I stroll across town and I make it green by taking my piece of trash and putting it right in the can. Yo, you understand? Yo, soft safari, Gandhi Gee. Gotta clean up the world so it can be free. Soft safari, Gandhi Gee. Soft safari, Gandhi Gee. Let's clean up the Gotta clean up the trash for you and me.
So therefore, like uh, uh, people are quite confused about this kind of modern waste mm -hmm. that is going to be great harmful to the environment, nature, and the human human beings and other living things in the in, in Damsala. So therefore, like uh, all the community have agreed to do something for this uh, serious issues. The Tibetan Welfare Office has their goals set on a community composting system for all the local restaurants and homes, as well as a regular trash pickup day. The wheels are turning and the Welfare Office is steering these towns in the right direction. It's an intense issue, man. I, I just pray for the best, but I, I know it makes it look so frustrating and that there's God, I could not change such a big monster. But I get, I feel so much better starting with this little project. And by the end of the day, when I'm done with the project, I feel like I have done my little contribution, especially when you see nature as a spiritual being. The problem is very big because the locals have always used the rivers to get rid of the waste. But the waste is no longer organic. Plastic is the new waste, and plastic doesn't go away. We have to get rid of this notion of throw away. Where is this magical place we call away? For the whole to be achieved, everyone must do their part. All we do as humans is consume and create waste. Together, let us find a way that will minimize our environmental footprint. Thank you for watching. I hope you will participate in making your community trash free. With the help of the volunteers from specific, specifically like uh, some motivated uh, individuals from the West, they do organize uh, mass cleanups in the village, especially in the riverside and in, and in the hillside. But that, that, that has a very limited impact. Mm -hmm. So therefore, like we are thinking like we should organize some kind of sustainable program where, where we could employ uh, two or three people who can work on a daily basis and, and, and collect collect waste, recyclable waste and other waste from the homes. So I think uh, uh, this sustainable program in the Indian village would really benefit both the village, villagers, the environment, the nature and all the all the components that is exist in the village. Mm -hmm.